Hello everyone and welcome. In this video is sponsored by Mobile One. We're going to see who can change the oil in their car faster, a mechanic or an engineer. I already started the timer. You better get okay, to it. Okay, let's get going. Here we are. We're going to pop the hood. Step numero uno. Now I could do that later, but I don't want to touch the inside of my car with oil on my hands. So what do you think about that? Is I like it. Is this enough breaker bar? That is a giant breaker bar. Jason, what's with that giant breaker bar? Well, I'm not very strong, Charles, so I use things like giant breaker bars to compensate. I forgot my tub. I think the pressure's getting to him. Step one, don't drain the oil onto the floor. Okay, Charles, so the time to beat is minutes and seconds. And what do you know? Oh my gosh. already ticking. <laughs> he started it early. That All right. could be the difference right there. Let's see if my choice in vehicle comes back to haunt me, which I think it will. <laughs> I actually do have to lift the car up too, so. I don't think this should take too much time. Now, I'm noticing that you didn't do what most people would probably do when they change their oil, and that's actually lift your car up. Yeah, so the reason why we're not doing the Miata and we are instead doing the Subaru is that I don't have to lift it up. And because of that, I can save some time in this battle against you. So I think most people would probably rather be good at something uh, than win. I think engineers would rather win than be good at something. So that's what we are doing. Wow, these lifts really do save you some time, huh? Well, most cars, I think you have to actually get off the ground. And I also have this giant belly, belly pan. pan. That you gotta take off. All right. I do like this guy. Yeah, this is a pretty great little friend here to have. All right, next step is to get this filter. Do you have one of these tools? I don't, I don't have that filter. This right. is what only the pros use, so I wouldn't expect you to have. They're really expensive. Okay. Uh, I can, I'm going to have to add that to my tool list. Top of the line. <laughs> oh gosh, it's not doing it. I see why you use it. There you go. Oh, it's good. It's good. Still need to keep using it. <laughs> <laughs> you can it's tell. Good, but... You can tell the pressure's getting to him. You're doing great, this, Jason. Charles, is this what flat rate feels like? This is always a race. This is just, very much what flat rate. I've never feels had like. this much pressure. You get paid as an engineer for eight hours to work for I don't know a couple hours, I guess. So I notice you're starting with the filter instead of the drain plug. Why is that? Yeah. So um, the oil is going to take a little longer to drain from the pan than right here. So I'm trying to overlap a little on this. Also, there's a little thing in the center of the filter housing you're supposed to take out so it doesn't to drain do the oil. To do. Um, but a lot of them are all stripped out, so you just gotta go a little slower. Ooh. But not too bad. That wasn't terrible. Nah. Um, okay, next step is put the new filter on. So before we do that, uh, we're gonna get a little fresh oil. Otherwise, I know people will yell at me for not putting fresh oil on the gasket. Yeah, so you wanna make sure that seals well. We're gonna get this nice and lubricated. Nice work. Oh, Look at him go. Really He's doing a great up. job. I'm not, I'm oh. not even fooling. Oh. Okay, so I need to do a 7 8 turn on that. That is, let's see, 0.875 rotation. All right, perfect, I can do that. I'm noticing you did have to do some calculations. Is yes. that an engineer thing? Yeah, it's a TI-83 plus. I mean, only okay. the best engineers are using those, but okay. uh, I want to get it down to the decimal, the nearest thousand, this rotation okay. right here. Okay. And did, I think I've got does, that did it, did it buzz? Do you have a calibrated torque arm there too? Uh, yeah, I got a beep beep. That right. was, yeah, that was and me. Charles, how many oil changes do you think you've done? Oh, in my career, like all together? 
Yeah, so you were a technician for how many years? Yeah, like 13 roughly. 13 years? Yep. Okay, so let's say in a given week, how many oil changes would you do? I don't know, maybe, I would say probably average like four a day. Four a day? Yeah. That's okay. probably pretty close. So like 20 in a week or like 16 in a week, like four days a week? Yeah, four days a week most, most of my career. Oh, okay. just like Jason did lubing my seals. Oh, perfect. I want to make sure those are lubricated. Okay, so 50 weeks in a year, yeah? Yeah, Okay, so roughly. 16 a week, 50 weeks a year, 13 years, so like 10,000 oil wow. changes. Wow, you did that math very great off yeah, the top Yeah, right of your off head. the top of my head. Uh, just brilliant, honestly, yeah, these I'm, engineers I'm these impressed. days. I have a calculator in my pocket. Yeah, you have one on top of your shoulders, too. <laughs> That's your head. Also, this one is actually a pretty straightforward Volkswagen oil change. And what's this step here that you're doing? Uh, so, well, I'm not actually sure, Charles, how many um, washers are you supposed to use when you do Oh, I think it's change? one per cylinder. One for each cylinder. Okay, yeah. then that'll be four. Yep. Just Why don't you start guys. with one, though? And then if oh, it you leaks, can just, you just add another one. You can one. add one later. Yeah. Okay, all right, that's, good that's idea. That's probably best. All right, so we're going to get our torque wrench, uh, you know, you leave those yeah. on the ground. That's what, that's what, the, pro, that's that's what, what the, the pro engineers do when they change oil, yeah, they leave, is it on they the leave their tools all over the floor. Uh, okay. We're gonna take this with us as we get under there because it's probably not completely done draining, but we're gonna call it good. We'll just go ahead and clog that up if I can get it threaded correctly. Are we gonna get any on the ground? Ooh, it would look close to me, but it did good. All right, now I, I'm gonna put a new drain plug on. Oh, a new drain plug. Because Not I have one. the old one, huh? Speaking of time, where are we? How am I oh, doing? Oh, you're doing great. I feel I'm like sure I'm doing only right. been like a minute or two at this point. You know what though? I'm gonna, I'm gonna overlap a little here. There I'm you gonna go. Open up my yeah. Get that thing open. Oil. Or... I'm also not gonna butcher this top part like you did. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty terrible. I feel like I got the oil in the car. That's all that matters. I will say. What will you say? If you're gonna be doing your oil change, you rushing, should probably rush it. <laughs> rushing to do your oil changes, you know, it might be frowned upon. You don't yeah, ever want to skip steps. Any car maintenance, like. You don't really want to, you want to make sure you do everything correctly, right? Did, did you turn that torque wrench on? Yeah, I did turn it on. Oh, it turned off on its own? Well, let's see. Let's see how close we are. We're like 900 pound feet. Oh, there we go. I heard that beep. All right, we've done it. Don't forget your bucket. You don't want to leave it under there. Don't leave your bucket. All right, buckets out from underneath. Rushing through an oil change is a very bad <laughs> choice, and you shouldn't do it, because even though this is a very simple, basic, you know, six or seven steps, depending on your car, <sighs> yeah. forget one, so what do you think it's gonna cost the, an engine. What do you think the fastest you've changed the oil in a car is? So I don't know about changing, but the fastest I've drained the oil is with a hundred shot of nitrous uh, <laughs> on a GLI on the dyno, and it blew a hole in the front of the block and the back of the block. So is that like a, that's like a professional technique that I wouldn't be familiar yeah, with? Yeah, it's definitely like pros only, not yeah. for amateur. You know, oil changes are one of those things where like, yes, you can do them fast. And you know, like you said, I've done 10,000 of them, which is, Maybe a little optimistic, but, <laughs> but I just, for such a kind of a mundane job on most cars, I've seen oil changes messed up more than any other job, and it can usually result in catastrophic things yes. like costing an engine, costing a turbocharger, leaving a customer stranded, that kind of stuff. We're doing great. Uh, What's our next step? Next step is filling this oil. Gosh, see this is where that, they don't make breaker bars for these things, do they? <laughs> what, what if this was really where? Oh, there you go. Oh man, he is strong. Nice work. Wow. 
All right, All so right. you got your funnel. So an oil change at the dealer I worked at paid four tenths. Four tenths, what does that mean? Which is 24 minutes. That's start to finish. Okay, 24 um, minutes is how long you have start to finish. Grabbing the car, including bringing it in the shop. Getting in the car, getting it from the That's pretty ticket. quick, that's not much time. It's not enough time, but that's what it paid, so you had to hustle. Now it's time. Oh, Mobile One Extended Performance Zero W20. Let's get in there, guys. Look at, look at that poor baby. Oh, yes. That is phenomenal. How much oil does this thing take? 5.1, but you know what? I, I usually find even with five, it goes just a touch over that top dot, so. Uh, hold, hold on, I'm also noticing this is zero W20. Yeah, I just chose the thinnest one because I thought it would pour faster to help me win this competition. Pretty sure my car takes 540. Yeah, you would put something thick and slow. It'll take you a good while to get that oil in. Okay. What if I help you out here and pull this? Do you think that'll help? Yeah, I think that'll help. Do you think? I pulled the dipstick uh, for a fast. Well, you could say I think it, you're trying it, to add steps it to definitely, my work It definitely trying. poured faster uh, with that. Uh, I don't know about it. Definitely did. All right, that is empty. Well, I'm just gonna stick this back over here. Mind the uh, oil that I left on the ground. Yep. We're gonna get this. Closed off. You're going fast. I'm impressed. And get that closed up. You did, what about checking the oil level? Well, we are going to do that. So we're going to check oil level and we're going to check for leaks after running the engine and just make sure there's no problems. If there are, I guess it's like a disqualification or we'll add time, but I think we're going to be all right. Can I add a quick tip? Yes. Make sure that you open your garage door yes. before starting your car. Good tip. Funnel on. Wow, perfect for Charles. I do like that your funnel actually directly attaches. Again, with the tools here, you, your tools have definitely been superior. Yeah. But I guess that's expected for someone who's done 10,000. 10, wow, look how much is in there, and you're just confidently, yeah. Charles, you want me to help you out like, like you helped me? I'm, no, I I'm no, no! <laughs> That just cost me. It went me... faster. Did you see it? Went no, way that's faster an illusion. When I it in. That is a myth. A myth and an illusion. Now for this one, uh, which way do I got to pour it? Yeah, you always want to pour it down. Pour it. Which way? <laughs> People make so much fun of you if you pour these things. The like incorrect this? Direction. Yeah, I mean, technically that's the right Should direction. Should we get fancy with it? Does it actually uh, matter if all the oil makes it in your car? No. Oh, I like that you can just leave that in there. Yeah. See if we got close. Wait, did you check your oil before? I checked after, so you don't after. have to do that. Okay. You can uh, just just close it off right here. And it was hood down, right? Hood down is the rule. Well, there you have it. Uh, I think that's proof, like definitive proof. Yeah, no that variables I have are in there. A highly optimized car <laughs> for changing oil. An engineer will change the oil faster on their car yep. than a mechanic who's done 10,000 of these. That's pretty impressive. 10, I think 000. it's pretty obvious though where the true advantage lies for you. Yeah. I didn't have a calculator to use during Okay, my okay, well hold on. I had a calculator in my pocket the whole time for you to use at any moment if you needed it, and you didn't ask. Jason, short of not rushing oil changes, what do you think your biggest takeaway from our sweet competition would be? I would say my number one takeaway from this was that using a superior synthetic motor oil like Mobile One provides better protection against wear, better protection at high temperatures, and critically, better flow at cold temperatures. It was the cold <laughs> flow! It was, that zero W versus your five W, it gave me the edge to pour in that oil just a touch quicker. So thank you as always, Charles, for joining in on a collaboration. A big thank you to Mobile One for sponsoring this video, and thank all of you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.